There's no orbiting. Look, this is... There's the hog. He's checking shit out. He's looking for his mice. Oh, he's got one. He got one. What's the problem? Oh, it's on. Okay. Let's go. So what I'm going to do is... See this. Grasso. Hey, there's the bird. That's a swan. Alright, there's been a theme. There's been a theme of these birds showing up all day. Now I think now I'm not entirely sure. Let's look at this from the sky and see what it looks like. Let's find the lines. Okay, we got a blue line up here. This is what we're going to do. Let's go. Let's see where we go. Hey, you got it. These are all uh, boats that uh, don't have the shit. Like, uh, uh, Gmo? See all the marine traffic. So, uh, it's in China, the river. Pow! Let's see where we go. Oh, yeah, That's a hammer. That's all right. We use that. We're going to use that. Antenna. Dazuma Zami Yev Patoriyama. You see how it glitches out like that? This thing will literally a vest of. This thing really starts acting weird. Let's go to another one. This is what we did. All right, we're in Sweden. Oh, look at that motherfucker. That's badass. Gulf of Bothnia? I've never heard of any of that stuff. So, I was watching the other video. Uh, I was in there for a little while with homie. I liked that he had the um, the Templar Knight. I'm not, I'm not always happy with some of their shit, but I, like, I, love, I love knights. I love all that stuff. Now, what I know... Oh, there's number two. This is great. UVG number two. We're going to go into here. Now, what I'm trying to do is something that I learned last night. But I don't have any remembering of it because I had to get into my ship. Get in my consciousness ship. I normally remember my dreams. But I knew that the appointment that I had that I was going to get some information from upstairs that I was going to need to just to bring back. That's part of what being a Holland audience. That's what I and I was trying to explain that, but I know that nobody hardly understands what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyway, and that's all right. Now I'm gonna go to this because the geometry it feels right to go here because this is where Atlantis is coming up. There's some weird stuff going on over here, big time. There's a I can't remember the name of the island, but it was the whole story. Perfect. It was on um, some Bring dark journal stuff. Now, I know that I used to be smarter, too. It's very hard to concentrate, to think. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of it that can be my own fault, I can say. But it's not about bitching, complaining, Skimmy. or doing any other motherfucking thing okay. other yeah, than yeah. connecting up those hard lines so that we can get our hard mind thinking back. Like you said, the yellow. What'd you say? Electro, the electromagnetic waves? Something like that. But I was just paying attention and feeling the energy. And I think that there's a lot of stress that people have. Because um, we all we all worry about... We feel like a piece of shit. This matrix tries to make us feel like we're a piece of shit. 
It, just, it does. They're doing all kinds of stuff. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter what the fuck they do. Because as I was learning and listening, I was laughing my fucking ass off. I was laughing my fucking ass off. And building that charge up. That charge is a very, very powerful thing. Because of the... When I can look what it says. Check this out. I have a grandpa I never met whose name is Lucky. I was walking through this place and I was using my map. <laughs> Free ride 512. Hey, come on, there's Catholic Church Cemetery. See how the, your consciousness interacts with this? When I started looking around, I see stuff. My dad's been here. I don't know what this Free Ride 512 is, but I'm going to put him on my line. I'm going to draw that energy in. I'm going to pass through Lucky. Down here to Aluminum Creek with that aluminum. I'm going to land in with Stargate. They were talking about that on... Um, they were decoding some of the petroglyphs. They said a man with one horn on his head and a big old fucking erection was holding the gate open on the uh, petroglyphs. They didn't know what that means. I think I'm starting to know what that means. Because I've seen this fucking river turn into a Stargate. I'm going to tell you something that's very strange. Maybe you won't think it's strange. Maybe you will. This is just my experience. Let me tie this motherfucker in. Because you see this? This is a fucking... This is an underground mountain. That this fucking river hits. And it's a badass rock. Granite or something. Underground mountain. This thing hits it and it's fucking going. It's knock, it's, it knocks it the other way around. You see how perfect that motherfucking fucker is right there? It's like a perfect circle around that. There's my yard right over here. You can see it off. Uh, if you go to the Colorado and you go up with the R, you see that's my yard. Wow. Is that right? That's rule number one. Is that Fine. Right? Is there anything that you really like about feeling like you're trapped in a body? No. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. <laughs> Why are you asking? Fine. In what kinds of circumstances are you most likely to find yourself involved with feeling like you're trapped in a body? Well, when I'm wanting to get out, when uh, life sucks on this fucking planet, when, uh... <laughs> when I'm not having enough fun here, let me out of here! Is there some place more fun than this? Because it sucks. <laughs> Yeah, everywhere, Rick. You gotta leave your body and turn uh, into the giant plasma, do see, man. Do you guys see? It's you fucking get it? great. Fly out here in uh, space. As you answer the questions, things will bubble up to the surface, and you just shout it out, and you'll start feeling you to, you know, some laughs and chuckles and release. All these I think it's gonna be a long, long time for what the man he turns in me in my mind. Sorry, I have to let it out. It's bubbling up. Emotional energy in. And the more you can let the emotional energy out, the more relief you're going to feel. But it's also yeah. the computations or the thoughts and beliefs that you're holding in. Oh, yeah. Like in our subconscious, we really don't know that we feel this way until we verbalize it. We verbalize it, we're releasing it, we're disintegrating it, Nobody wants breaking to it up, dissolving it. And the ideas and thoughts that were in there that you expressed are like the lid or the cap on the emotional stuff. So the emotional stuff will come out too. And you start getting these releases and realizations about... What's going on regarding your issue, your item in this case? Now, if you don't want trap, it's a fucking body. Now, I could stop here. Probably be a good idea because of the attention span of some people. Uh, and let this be the demo, okay? And if you'd like to really learn deeper on how to do this technique, richwest.net release course universal release method yeah, buy your classes, but you can also do so contract revocation work on feeling trapped in a physical i don't think it's as much about being trapped i think that you have to 
really manage your emotions. And if you're an empath, you got to um, help other people with their emotions. Now, I am an empath, so I can feel someone's emotions. But it's better for me if I do it from long range, because if I'm around them, it's too much. I can't feel my own emotions, and it, it fucks with me. Now, I think there's a service to do with that, which is why I'm applying all my laughing energy, what I call the positive electron. I know that doesn't make any fucking sense, but I've activated the positive electrons. Those stars that are flying out in the background, those are all of them. And those are going to the viewers. Anyone that needs that energy because it is imbued with the intelligence to help you transmute the same energy because you want to laugh and you want to have good positive life energy. See, they put a lot of death energy into us. I'm going to use that. I'm just going to say it like that because I've heard uh, Tony Tim Stark Refat talk about it and he calls them putting them in the death crystal or something like that. But then there's the sublime good energy too, which you can use, but you've got to get through the fucking, you have to get through the feeling negative and piss shit. That's the poison. We're sucking the poison out. We're making the anti-poison, the anti-venom. That's basically the purpose of the process is to coordinate with each other and begin to reconnect these ley lines and bringing out our poison, what is called the toxic or deviated chi. And then Mother Earth starts pumping into us positive electron chi that's in resonance with Mother Earth because Ninja Six. Ninja Six is transformation ritual. If you look at that uh, book, um, the Taoist um, manual on uh, transformation, a lot of it has to do with the male and female energy, which is psychological and it's physical. They're so they're so correlated. The energy system grids are outlined on us, so they're trying to warp us with all this transgender shit. And warp the kids and warp the Generation Z kids. And I don't have time for that. And we're using that power of yellow canary and connecting it. I've already connected it. I'm already, I've already done it. I've already done it. I'm making this video. And check it out. I've got an email from the director of the residence. They, they give us the... They have a free school you can take for the... Um, Oh shit, it's Nassim Harriman's running it. It's a different it's the new new science. The new science. With the plasma and all that good shit. So when I listen to some of those videos, I could tell that at some level they were aware of what I was doing. And it was very funny, it was a long time ago, but I've always paid attention and I listen. And a lot of times, when your intuition kicks in, you'll know the right things to do at the right at the right times, and you'll do them. Like I played sledge sledgehammer, and hopefully I don't get struck for having it in the background. But I might. But it's not. I have to put it up anyway. I have to. I have to put it up anyway. I could put it on my alternate channel, but I have to take the risk. With it in the background because that was one of the words I saw on the map, and it, it took me some weird stuff. But I followed the ley lines where it started in Switzerland or Sweden, and drew it back over here and connected it into this place, which is a a, a, a drain a vortex going in to the earth. We saw lights light around it on the river. It looked like our car was like a bunch of cars were in the air and they were flashing their bright. It was very weird. And I've made it to the end of this, and I've been somewhat coherent. I wound my video that was the connected listening to the other live stream, where the two in and out people can be um, positively used for venting out from the heights of heaven, from the earth, that energy. Because the earth's going through change, going through Fourth density magnetism. Maybe it'll have a good effect. The intent was to do that. 
and I think it will. But that's all I'm going to say. I wanted to show the picture of those butterflies having sweet fucking monkey six. But I couldn't find it. It was suddenly gone. That's another thing you have disappear. There'll be like a screen that'll disisappear. It'll be like you'll you'll lose one of the buttons on your phone or one of the screens you pull up will suddenly not be there. And it'll be it's very weird. There's some weird shit with the technology. But the thing is to use your negative as a positive. 